Hey guys, I'm just going to kind of really just dive into this. Um, it's out of John 3, 4, 5, but then read 3, 4 through, read 3, 3 through 8, and then Matthew 21, 42 through 48. But let's go to, it's, it's about living in the spirit, guys, and the time that we're living in, and it is time to repent, turn from our wicked ways, and walk according to the spirit, because we're spiritual creatures, and all this garbage and mess that's going on on every corner you turn is a trap of the enemy to suck us into the flesh. Start with John 3. Okay, I, I was dreaming. I'm laying on the couch. Got up early to pray, and I was laying on the couch. And in this dream, I looked over above her fireplace, which is across the room. And right above it, the, the mantle was a cross about two foot tall. And it had lights all the way around it on the edge. It was lit up. It wasn't really like lights, it was a light. Brown, rugged, wooden cross. Pretty plain Jane, but you could tell it was rugged. It wasn't real uniform. It was, but I mean, there was, you could tell like there were splinters looking stuff in it. It was just rough looking cross. Then I saw three, four, and five, just the numbers across it. And then I woke up. And I was like, man, that's got to be a scripture. Which one is it, God? Let me go to John 3, 4, and 5. And then if you read 3, 3 through 8, it all fits in. But it's about Nicodemus wanting to get baptized and ask Jesus. He said, Unless you be born again of the Spirit and water, you're not going to enter into the kingdom. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit, and that which is born of the flesh is flesh. But then eight is about the wind bloweth and it doesn't, you don't even know where it goes. So is the spirit. You must be born again. But why is it spirit and water? The Holy Ghost, God's spirit living in us. And how do we get there? Through the blood of the lamb, through the repentance. Just turning it over to God. Leaving the water is not the pool you were baptized in. No, I'm baptized in all, all black church in South Dallas. Imagine that. Long story. It's being born into the kingdom, filled with the Spirit. Same spirit that raised up Christ from the dead shall also quicken your mortal bodies. It's all throughout the Bible, guys. Read Matthew. Read. Read. Uh, yeah, Matthew three sixteen. The spirit of the Lord rested upon him. If he got baptized, Jesus was baptized. If God thought there was no importance to it, no Jesus, no nothing important. Why was Jesus baptized, guys? Come on. He had a short life, very predetermined and pre-planned, and he was baptized. It's not the water, it's symbolic. If you drink from these waters, you'll never thirst again. Washing of the water of the word. It's a cleansing, it's a purification of your soul. Guys, of your soul ties to this flesh. spirit and the water you can't enter in then let's jump down to Matthew 21 the stone that the builders rejected have you not heard have you not read the word so he was telling his disciples 
If you fall on the stone, you'll be broken. But if the stone falls on you, it's gonna crush you like powder, crushed, crushed. It's time to repent and fall on the word and fall on our knees as a nation, as a people, as God's people and get this battle hard and won in the spirit. Because we're not gonna win this one in the flesh, guys. We're so caught up in the Mickey Mouse stuff that's going on. Honestly, it is. That's just because it's just it's almost comical, but it's so annoying and aggravating to everyone. It's annoying to those people that are saved, and it's annoying to those people that are saved. Because it's a spirit. It's manifested itself through people. Look at today, guys, there's a storm coming to America. I got that out, 8-11, which is today, 2020 to 9-11. About a fire in America. Man, guys, I'm not deciding. I'm saying, look who's picked for vice president. Man, kind of, man, she says, I'm real, real, real ugly, hateful, vicious, heinous stuff. Seriously. Fact checkers have, have, have a heyday at it. All this other stuff that's going on all around on social media. I hate all this garbage. And I've got sucked into it some too and not wanting to. I don't even like any of it. Don't even want to do it. But it's a platform the Lord told me to use. So I'm going to. But I still pray a lot about it. Because it's tainted me even. I'm not saying I'm any better than anybody else. I'm saying it taints anybody that it touches because it's a spirit. And we have to be careful. We have to treat it as such. And we have to fall on the word, or the word, and be broken, or it's going to fall on us and destroy us. And that's the storm that's coming, guys. It's decision time. It's time that we live in the spiritual realm and not in this fleshly carnal realm. I'm not saying all, all this, you know, this garbage is going, I'm not saying vote or don't vote because I'm not, I'm trying to politicize it. We need godly men and women in the White House, but we also need them in the city council. It's craziness that's going on, guys. City council people are defend, defunding the police. Governors are acting crazy. Streets are running rampant with vigilantism and people are dying literally in the streets. Racism. I don't care if you're black or white, white or black. You pick up that demonic force, somebody's going to get hurt. People are going to die. It's racism, guys. Both, either or. We've got to live in the spirit so that we can fight this battle in the spirit because we're not going to win it in the natural. It's not going to be won November 8th by who we vote into office and who we vote out of office. I'm sorry, guys. That's been idolized, too. We may not even have a national presidential election, honestly, guys. It's so convoluted and twisted up. It, Trump... And Congress are both saying the same thing. And then this, you put in, throw in this Dr. Fossey guy. Lockdown, shut up everybody. September's important, and we gotta just lock ourselves away and throw away the key. The key to it is living in the spirit, guys. You're not gonna get it in the natural. It's not coming, guys, through the natural. That's the part in the, in the John, Three, three through eight and eight, it, the spirit is like the wind. Joel's army is going to be an outpouring and come forth as a great and mighty rushing wind on fire. 
We are the storm, guys. That's what I was getting to. This storm that's coming, it's going to be a purge, to cleanse, to purify his bride and his body. So it's time to choose. What spirit are you listening to? I'm going to end with this because I want to kind of maybe tie in some other messages to kind of let people, you know, to just get people to, to watch this stuff because it's because of the importance of it. But right now, one day I was sitting at my computer early, early in the morning praying, and I'm in Texas. Probably got them other places too, but they're there. This thing called mayflies, the little bitty creatures. Not for a little many, but but they got big, huge wings, and kind of long bodies, and they and kind of ugly looking, honestly, but not like bad ugly, just weird. But they just we had a doggy door, and if we let them leave it open, they would just come in by the droves because we keep a kitchen light on above our stove, and they'd be drawn to the light. But they didn't realize once they came in through that doggy door, they never were going to find their way out because they had to the floor and there'd be literally, seemed like hundreds of them, but there'd be a lot of them. It was a very short time. They die. They don't even realize it. And I was sitting there and they were coming to the computer light, just all over the screen and driving me nuts. And I was trying to do things and it was real annoying. And the Lord said, look at these bugs. And I can't go. He said, any light will do. And that's where we're at today, guys. Any light will do. People are believing fact checkers over the Bible. People are believing congressmen and crazy people that some of these mayors. And you can see the demo demonic forces in their lives, the way they live their lives, who they're married to. You can read between the lines on this. All that stuff. Demons are driving them. And that's who they're listening to. Hatred, evil, vicious. Look around, guys. Steal, kill, and destroy. Steal your freedom, your liberty. You can't go to church. You can't even go to the grocery store without a mask on. Because Como Brothers said to bunch of stupid people, honestly, guys. Kill everybody. Nobody's life matters. God, we've been taking innocent lives for years. There's blood on our hands through the abortion. Millions, guys more than Hitler with an evil regime. Celebrities wearing shirts shooting people in the head if they don't get their way. Well, it was directed at the president. We've idolized murder, guys. Steal, kill, and destroy. What's it doing? It's destroying the nation. We've defunded the police. And there's some people that are really adamant that we should. And that guy that killed the black man, whether he was on drugs or not, or I get it, they've got a, it's tough out there to be a cop, honestly. But it's no reason to kill somebody. It was evil in his heart. Don't, I don't even know if people are ever gonna know what the whole thing behind it. There may be nothing behind it. Other than just an evil dude that had the wrong uniform on. So I get it. That needs to be addressed. But there's a lot of people that we're addressing it already. A lot of police, they, some of them, some of them take it very, very seriously. That abuse. Some of them not so. So I get that, but to just throw him under the bus over it, uh, so it's to destroy, but it's also to destroy this nation. Look at the, the policies that are 
being promoted by a lot of these politics and politicians. Evil. What are we up against, guys? Spiritual wickedness in high places. The technology. Why do you think I put that out there? Wizards that peep, mutter, and moan. Wizardry. I'm looking at Google today and every day, and there's some pin, pin something or other. I forget what you call it. They even called it a wizard. Some new thing, pin task or something. It's a mess like that. I'm not, I'm not a computer guy, so forgive me. Who's some of the main people that were barking about? Computer gurus, guys. But there's a pharmacia, witchcraft, guys. Money. Politicians, greedy, money. News media, censorship. You don't believe, you know, it's, you don't believe me? Okay. The same narrative. Three or four years. First it was the Russia probe. And now it's it's just like hatred after hatred after hatred. And I'm not, is there a bumper sticker across my head? Am I wearing a MAGA, MAGA cap or whatever? No, I'm not. I'm not a political act. It's just a pure, vile hatred. And what's behind it? The enemy of her soul. What's the main thing that most people are mad about? The abortion issue. We're a nation that's been destroying life, taking life, killing, idolized death. So much here, guys. But it's time to live in the spirit and the church to rise up. You want to take this country back? Action. Guys, I just I shop. I've been, I've been in three or four shops today, and I'm in, I'm in a big city, and everybody's got to have a mask. I'm the only one at the store. I walk in all the stores. Big sign out from Octoon. Well, I'm sorry, attention. Oh, okay. Well, that's what it reminds me of. The Holocaust days, when the Germans said that to the people before they sent them to the death camps or to their wherever they sent them before that, the, I forget those places, but they sent them off, before, you know, got them ready, prepared, they were gonna kill them all along. The enemy's trying to get our attention, but so is the Holy Ghost. And we've got to live in the spirit, guys. We've got to fight this in the spirit where it needs to be. That's why I put that out there about the 5 a.m. prayer and the importance of it. We want our country back. We're not going to win it with our theology, but our neology. We're not going to win it with our strength and our ability, but our availability to him and our brokenness to the word and our heart. No more games, guys. No more, ca no more Captain Crunch Christianity. Looks good. Bright, ye bright yellow color. Smells good. Tastes good. Box looks great. Nothing. No nutritional value. Cheap imitation of food. It's actually bad for you. Used to be my favorite cereal. Now I can't eat it. Too much sugar. It is bad for me. <clears throat> All this corona mess. Yes, it was orchestrated by the devil himself, and it still is. Does that make God weak in a, in a little itty-bitty sideline? He let it happen. Why did he let it happen? To wake us up, guys, to, to, from, to, to, to show his people who he really is, if we live in the Spirit. The storm that's coming and starting today, and already started just even by who... Who they're, who's running for office in the land. Because if they win, all hell's going to break loose. And it may break loose anyhow because of it. It's going to be one of my... It's just time to rise and shine, guys. But in the spirit. Because we're not going to win it hitting the streets with a bunch of guns and 300 bullets. We're going to win it by taking up our sword, the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word. 
falling upon it, being broken, broken in a contrite spirit. He's, he's close to those of a broken and contrite spirit. Look who he used. Broken people, guys. Can use a broken nation. Why? Because, because pride was as a spirit of witchcraft. And we were a prideful nation. Stuck up, stuck on ourselves, idolized everything. You don't think so? Before all this coronavirus, go to a fancy restaurant or go to Denny's. And if your salt and pepper shakers weren't on there and the ketchup wasn't right in front of you and your waitress didn't come out within one minute or less, man, people went ballistic. They went ballistic at their little convenience store if they don't get their way. If they're, man, it was just crazy paying them up stuff. Over stuff. I'm going to end with this. The Lord told me in a prayer about a year ago, way before this coronavirus, he said, if you see, you, see, you think the church was on a power trip, an ego-driven, money-hungry power trip, money, greed, power, don't care who, 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 who souls get lost, he said, wait till you see what the world does. And city council people are destroying whole cities by defunding the police. Instead of changing them, helping them, guiding them, whatever they, whatever it's going to take, giving them the tools that they might need. Um, even some of the police chiefs were good, good people, men and women. Really drawing. And with this. Put this out there. Said it to several cops. One started crying. Big old dude too. Doesn't look didn't look like a man be paying me, you know, pushover. I said, I was sorry that we threw him under the nation under the bus as a nation. And yet they still showed up to protect us, to protect our streets, to protect our lives. Church needs to show up, guys. But we need to show up in the spirit. And be like that wind that no one will see coming. That outpouring, because it's going to wipe stuff clean. God is going to purge people that are called by his name. The marriage supper is pre supper prepared. He's got the wedding feast set before us, the table set. Are you coming to the wedding or are you going to choose to live your life in sin? Because it ain't going to be a fence riding no more. Oh, he was a good person. Oh, he was. You better get it right in the spirit. All of us, guys, this is not me to you message. Actually, it's a little bit harder on people that have to, have to preach the gospel, the true gospel. Because I can't get it wrong. And when I do, you know, all hell breaks loose. Man, I get chastised pretty good. Real good. And it, it, it isn't fun. Who would want to be a preacher when you read the job description? Take up your cross and We all want the Disneyland, Hollywood Christianity. Not the real deal of living life in the spirit. Love you guys. Um, let the word fall on the word. And let it break you. Those dark, hard places you won't even go in your life. That's where God wants to go. Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and the Word. Love you guys. Talk to you soon.